Beatus essay. My name is High Priestess Yashodhara Singh. Today we are making uh, more people aware of things they really need to know about. These are a series of videos that we are going to put. Uh, you may be watching me uh, on Facebook, on uh, LinkedIn, on YouTube. But whoever you are, you have clicked on this video because of a whole lot of reasons. I'll list them out to you first. You may wonder what a certain symbol means <clears throat> that you may have Googled on the internet. You may uh, want to mo know more about magical symbols and how they work. Uh, there are many do's and don'ts that I will be telling you about in this video and I will go from one point to another. Before we begin, I would uh, advise you to get a pen and paper, a, an unruled piece of paper or a notepad because I will be showing you a couple of uh, symbols which you can use in your daily life to help yourself and others. Um, so stick around because this is happening at the end of this video. The whole idea behind this video uh, was very, very simple. I was receiving a lot of calls and I am part of a lot uh, of uh, sites, you know, um, where there is a lot of interaction with uh, people who are interested and those who are practicing um, the kind of occult art that I am, namely Wicca, white magic. It is unfortunate that there are many, many uh, people who are uh, displaying things which are not supposed to be displayed in a particular fashion. Uh, information is half-baked because it makes uh, them feel a little um, less powerful, I guess, as against others. And somehow imparting knowledge becomes uh, um, an ego issue or... Uh, you know something that scares some people so this is to remove that veil and to clarify all the doubts that I've been receiving from so many of you all right so let's begin um, I have uh, many things to clarify so I'm going to try and clarify them quickly the first thing that I want to talk to you about is uh, gain the knowledge to educate yourself and pay attention to everything that is being said in this video Share it with as many people as you can. You want to download it and take it to WhatsApp. I'll make sure that's done. You want to share it on your page. Go ahead and do it because you're actually doing a service to so many people because there will be things that will make you feel, oh my God. So that's how it works. Okay. So uh, let's begin. Um, the first question uh, you might have is what are the kind of magical symbols uh, that exist? Let's begin with sacred geometry. You have uh, circles, you have squares, you have uh, triangles, uh, you have dots and lines, vertical and horizontal. So all these patterns of geometry, they have been brought, brought together uh, for sacred geometry. There's a flickering light on the side, which means there are angels nearby. So let's take it like that. Uh, other than sacred, ge now these sacred geometry pa pa uh, patterns were invented in a particular way and each pattern symbolizes something, okay? There are many healers, uh, Reiki and Pranic and uh, Tarot Vedas and uh, so on and so forth who practice a lot of symbols and they originate from sacred geometry, okay? Um, let's go to runes. Vikings invented runes. Uh, they are symbols with, uh, there we go again. There are, they are symbols and each symbol signifies something. So when you join two or more runes, it's called a bind rune. So if you see something that says rune, are you any, that's what it means. That's another magical symbol um, that's uh, available for people to use. Um, then we have uh, sigil. Sigils are, uh, again, magical symbols and they are made, uh, again, for a particular purpose, say, Prosperity, removal of negativity, uh, increase in abundance, improvement in health, 
okay so on and so forth also there is something called which is very 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 ancient very ancient and uh, but practiced very very uh, rarely and by just a handful this is called magical manifestation of the third eye this is what i personally practice uh, you need to uh, meditate uh, using your uh, ajna chakra the third eye and uh, you receive symbols and you know when you meditate on a person and then you give it to the person and it helps them um, you know get rid of their problems or it helps them recover from something okay and bring their lives back to what they what it used to be or what they wanted to be so these are the kinds of uh, symbols that you can be looking out for now uh, how do they work <clears throat> well usually <clears throat> excuse me uh, you have uh, magical symbols that are made on metal i see a lot of uh, uh, symbols that are made on gold brass copper but no can do uh, it is either silver or uh, well some people also use iron which is also good uh, but it's silver iron pewter you see the colors um, that the color the white the whitish silverish color that is there it reflects the moon so there is a lunar connection here right so when you have uh, metals like silver iron um, pewter and then you make a symbol on it when you when you energize it and you put it out and let the moonlight fall on it which by the way has been scientifically approved that it does make a difference and there is a change even if you put a plain glass of water and cover it uh, with a cling film and a glass and you drink it the next day we call it magic water of course but you know it's also very good for health so there is a difference and it works very very fast uh, uh symbols also work if you put them on wood but the wood must be fruit bearing so it cannot be like uh, shisham it can be walnut it can be mango okay but it has to be has to be a uh, from the wood of a fruit bearing tree okay uh symbols are also put on shells remember shell shells come from the goddess gaia mother earth um so shells are also uh, you know an object on which people make symbols which works some people use bone and uh, you know the horns of a deer and all that and i'm not comfortable with that although i i don't have anything to say about it because i haven't used it personally so i won't comment on that the and uh the easiest way to work a symbol is paper for those of you who do not have the ingredients to work your symbols on the best thing to get is a piece of unruled paper you see this is ruled paper with lines and let me show you this is unruled paper so look at the drawing not yet not yet okay so which doesn't have lines basically that's what i'm trying to say all right so let's move ahead <clears throat> now uh, what are the there are a couple of doubts that people have been asking me and i've been answering uh, the same question over and over again i thought finally let's just make a video so that uh, oh yeah one more thing uh, tattoos has come out i I've, i've answered dozens of queries on the net as to you know why can't i tattoo this and what does this mean and listen it is your personal choice what you want to tattoo but please please remember that when you are tattooing your body with something you should know the in and out of what you are doing i have tattoos i love tattoos but whatever is being tattooed on a person's body does signify something you are sending a message out to the universe let me cite an example this is a tattoo you all have asked me for so i'm showing it to you once and for all so these are angel wings that's the sign of wicca um that's these are the call signs of all the angels okay so this is rafael this is gabriel and here we have mikhail and here we have uriel okay so this is my personal statement to the universe that i am awaken i have uh, um you know i'm serving humanity and i've uh, dedicated my life to it all right so when you have a symbol that you are attaching to your body you better know what it means because if you don't even if you have a a uh, laser removal done later on um it's already entered your system and it has already made an impact on your life so before 
you go there first gain complete knowledge do not ever take decisions on half baked information you heard me say that i don't mind repeating it all right so let's go to doubt number 1 doubt number 1 says can anyone make it of course yes absolutely anyone can make a, a magical symbol you don't need to have magical powers for it believe it or not we all have magic inside of us some of us practice to exercise it some of us are more comfortable being in denial of it there is no gray area here it's either this or that that's it okay so yes you can make magical symbols by yourself providing you get the correct guidance the correct instru instructions from the appropriate person the specialist so to speak okay so anyone can do it next question uh, why not write what i want instead of making the symbol very very pertinent question very a very good question indeed uh, why do you want to make a symbol if you know what you want right so yeah okay great i'll give you an example i want x amount of money in the bank i've actually had a case where somebody asked me this question and uh, i corrected the person and i said so if you make this wish okay and tomorrow somebody something happens to somebody in your family and the insurance money comes into your bank technically you got the amount that you wanted but did you get it the way you wanted it so for situations like this you want to grow slim so you ask for a wish i want to grow slim and uh, uh, somehow you fall sick and you've lost all that weight but not the way you wanted to lose it so instead of framing long uh, sentences flowery with flowery words these ancient symbols these magical symbols were created so that you get what you want without anything being taken away from you without anything being extracted from you within and without and of course without harming anyone else none of the symbols if used in the correct form will ever harm anyone else they will only benefit the person who is using it under the supervision of a specialist let's go to doubt number 3 All right. Uh, the symbols on the internet are they authentic, and uh, are they or and or are they original? Do they work? All right. Um, this is a normal, a natural human tendency that when we see something we like, we want it. We want it for ourselves. Whether you talk about shopping, whether you talk about, you know, it's it's a normal human tendency. You talk about anything at all. You see it on a friend, and you say. Oh, I like that. Where did you get it from? Because you want to acquire it for yourself, right? So, the problem happens when, well, there is so much on the internet. There is so much of information and choices on the internet. You just Google one word, and there are one hundred and twenty thousand results that land up. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, so, when you want to see a picture, you say magical symbol of so and so thing or symbol of so and so thing, and something. just comes on your screen you see the picture you see what's written underneath you connect with what's written underneath because it makes sense listen it was designed for that purpose to attract your attention to get your eyes there you want to understand what's happening on top because you don't know anything about it so this is like a catch for you and if you notice 99% of the things you read underneath the pictures they will they will make sense to you and be like oh my god it's like the universe has almost heard me it's not that i mean the universe always hears us but the whole idea is to get your attention here so that you you make this symbol now why do people do it some people do it you know just for kicks and some people do it because they want to feel good about themselves but they don't realize the kind of uh, damage they are doing to people who use this uh, and then um, fall on their faces so when you are making us when you reach when you read something and you see a symbol first of all before you use it you need to first check it with a specialist have seen it is this correct is this right can i use it what can i use it for how can i use it when can i use it these are all questions that make sense okay and a specialist will answer your questions right so and there are many specialists and there are genuinely good specialists all right so you can ask these questions that's how uh that's how they work if you take a symbol and you, you there it's there, it's not a random pattern there's a there's a logic to it there is no madness it's all method so when you're making the design and when the specialist has guided you how to do it uh yes it does work 100% not even 99.9% 100% if you do exact so stick around because at the end of the video 
I'm going to tell you how to make the pattern and how and the instructions as to how to do it. So this is just going to happen right now in another 30 seconds, okay? So lose your desperation, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Lose your desperation and gain the knowledge. That's all you have to do for this video. Follow the instructions as I show you after I've shown you the pictures. Now, uh, the examples that you require right now. So let's do a couple of pictures for protection. So this is, uh, this is one, these are one of the symbols. This is called the hand of Fatima. So you can pause the video and you can uh, draw this as best as you can. Also called the Hamsa. In case you want to help somebody um, and protect somebody, this is a symbol for protection. Write down the name of the person underneath the complete name and um, keep it safely or present it to the person. It will work. If it is for you, then keep it with yourself at all times. Remember, whenever you're pulling something towards you, you fold the paper like so. And when you're pushing something away from you, you fold the paper like so. So this is pulling something towards you and pushing something away from you. In all these cases, you're pulling something towards you. So you fold the paper if you need to fold the paper like so, okay? All right, so the next one is not a Celtic cross. A lot of you think it's a Celtic cross. Please do not ever make Celtic crosses and bring them into your house. It's a bad idea. You'll get into fights for no rhyme or reason. People will misunderstand you for no rhyme and reason, so on and so forth. Okay, this is called a solar cross or a sun cross. This is also used for protection. You can use it the same way I taught you to use the Hamsa just now. All right, can you see it? Okay, let's move on. So this is called the Ankh, A-N-K-H. Very easy to draw. Again, for protection, use the same way. This is one of my favorites. I love it. I use it very often. It's called the Eye of Horus. Now, these two are Egyptian. This is Celtic and this is Mohammedan Christian, whatever you want to say. Okay? Now, remember, all this has to be done on unruled paper. Your colors stick to black to be safe. Maximum blue. Don't cross it. The only color you can switch to is green in case of money. Okay? Let's move on to luck. By the way, um, I want to show you something before we move on to luck. Um, you asked me about my rings. I wear bind runes as in silver. So this is for protection and this is for magic. Bind runes are very, very sensitive to the person. So you need to be in complete control of yourself. If I'm agitated or upset or tired or something, I take it off because it catches you. It's like a magnet, okay? So when you're feeling good about yourself, you wear it. Otherwise, you don't. So be careful when you're using bind runes. And I'm about to show you three bind runes for luck. The first one is called Balanced Joy. And it's quite cute. Do you see that? So it's a straight line and it's got a pointed P, which is actually called Wunjo. Uh, it's a rune, W-U-N-J-O. And it mirrors another P. You see that? There we go. Okay, so that's called Wunjo. You use it for balance, joy. You can make it on a piece of unruled paper and just, you know, keep it anywhere you want. It's There's no hard and fast rule where you want to keep it. It works. Um, this is for good luck. This is uh, Gibo and, uh, yeah, this is Ansu's. So this is Gibo and Ansu. So it looks like a cross, right? And there is an F. So that cross is Gibo and the F is Ansu's. Again, two bind runes together. And let me show you the third one as well. This is Yera or Jera. That's Harvest. So when you want some kind of a result, a positive result to something, you can make this and there you go. All right. All the colors, remember, can be in blue or black. Dark blue, not light. Health, I would prefer if it is green. Uh, not black or blue. But stick to green and uh, blue, okay? Avoid black. That's all I'll say. So for good health, uh, this is this is uh, Lagus and Ingus. So there you go. So this is for good health. You can make this. You want to write down somebody's name down uh, below on a Monday and light a white candle and uh, wish them good health. Well, it'll work. There you go. Lagus and Ingus for you. Can you see it? All right. Now let's go on to the next lot so this is uh, well if you if you want general luck or money luck you can actually make a pretty little thing this is called a triskelion so if you want general luck make it in black if you want money luck make it in green okay 
and none of the sizes matter before you ask me that question. All right, now this is a very very old uh, symbol which is used so often. Now this is called a triketra. Now ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this one is luck within and this one is luck without. So if you want uh, to feel lucky, to feel like you're a lucky person, then make the one on top. And if you want to attract lucky people around you, towards you, then you have to use the one below. All right. Okay. I have two more left and then we will conclude. In case you're running short of confidence, do this in blue or black. So that's for confidence. And this is to attract. I like this. It's, it's, not, it's a nice one and it's quite cool. This is to attract positive people around you. Right? So you see, all the patterns that you have, they are a mix of um, uh, items which you all require in your daily life. Some of you will require them more than others. Some of you will uh, cross through situations and phases in your life where it will become a basic necessity. Uh, but please, for God's sakes, do not get hopeless. Do not show your desperation because you don't know who will take advantage of it. The reason why we are making these series of videos is to make you aware of the fact that there are people who will want to help you genuinely only if you remember to use uh, your, your gut, your, your instinct, your sixth sense. Make your sixth sense your first sense because it is desperately required. People like me are going to help you. You ask me a question providing you respect my timings. I have never shied away from answering. But yes, I will be very clear about some things. Number one, I don't believe in spoon feeding. So I won't spoon feed you and tell you, okay, do this, this, this. You ask me a question, I'll answer it. If you want more information, of course, please go to my channel on YouTube. The links are down below. Um, you can, uh, if you are watching the channel on YouTube, then just go straight away to the folder that says all about Vika, get some more information. And of course, there is a playlist uh, that says DIY, do it yourself. The spells are from my personal collection. Remember, the more you gift yourself knowledge, the more you have to weigh a decision that will make you feel like you are in control of your life. And if you are not in control of your life, you know where to find me. I promise to help you. Um, and uh, yes, you have to take the effort. I uh, believe we all have the right to lead a life that we envision ourselves leading. And if you feel like you're falling short of something, get in touch with me and uh, let's see what I can do for you. Look out for the next video. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the globe. I wish you all a um, merry meet and be at his SAT.